Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x plus y, this is equal to 29, let's call this equation 1, and we have that log x plus log y, this is equal to 2, let's call this equation 2. So what is the value of x and y from here? Now let's provide a solution from here. Now from equation 1, from equation 1, which is x plus y, this is equal to 29. Let's make x to be the subject of the formula, so that now x will be equal to 29, subtract y. Let's call this equation 3. Now let's substitute equation 3 into equation 2, where we have the value of x. Remember equation 2 is wrong, x plus rock y this is equal to to 2 so substituting x which is 29 minus y then we have rock this is 29 minus y then plus rock y this is equal to to 2 now rock 29 minus y plus rock y this is in the form of rock a plus rock b which we can express as rock A multiplied by B. Now, let's transform this into this form. So that now we have rock, this is the same thing as 29, minus Y multiplied by Y, this is equal to, to 2. Here we have rock 29 minus Y times y, this is equal to 2. Now, we can trans, remember this is rog under base 10. So we can transform this logarithmic notation into index notation. Now, if we have rog, if we have rog x to base a equal to n, then we can change this logarithmic notation into index notation as, this is the same thing as a to the power of n, this is equal to x. Now, let's apply this property so that now here we have, this is, remember this is rock. Let me write this as rock. 29 minus y multiplied by y. This is under base what? Base 10. This is equal to, to 2. So this means that we can express this as 10 to the power of 2, this is equal to 29 minus y, then multiplying by y. Okay? So this means that here, this is 10 squared, which is 100. This is equal to 29 minus y, multiplying by y. Now, here we have 100 is equal to 29 minus y times y. So this means we have 100. This is equal to 29 times y, which is 29y minus y times y. This is y squared. So let's take 100 on the right-hand side so that we have 29y minus y squared minus 100. This is equal to 0. Let's rearrange this equation such that we have minus y squared plus 29y minus 100. This is equal to, to 0. Now let's divide both sides by minus 1. So that minus y squared divided by minus 1. So this is y squared. Then plus 29y divided by minus 1. This is minus 29y. Then minus 100 divided by minus 1. This is plus 100. So this is equal to 0. Now the next step from here. This is a quadratic equation of the form a y squared plus b y plus c. This is equal to zero. So this implies that from this equation here, that a is equal to one, b is equal to minus twenty nine, and that c is equal to one hundred. Now we can solve for y one, comma y two by applying the quadratic formula here, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of 
b square minus 4ac everything here divided by 2 times a so let's substitute the values of a b and c into this formula here so that we have minus minus 29 plus or minus the square root of we have minus 29 squared subtract 4 times a a is 1 then times c which is 100 everything here divided by 2 times 1 so this implies that here we have minus times minus 29 this is 29 plus or minus the square root of now we have 29 squared and this is equal to 841 then subtract 4 times 100 this is 400 everything here divided by 2 so now here we have 29 plus or minus the square root of 841 minus 400 so this is 441 everything here divided by 2 now the next step is that we have this as 29 plus or minus the square root of 441 this is 21 everything here divided by 2 now this means that y1 y2 this is 29 plus or minus 21 over 2 so this means that y1 this is equal to 29 plus 21 everything here divided by 2 so 29 plus 21 this is equal to 50 divided by 2 and this means that 50 divided by 2 this is equal to 25 so we have that y1 is equal to 25 and we have that y2 this is equal to we have 29 minus 21 over 2 so 29 minus 21 this is 8 8 divided by 2 and this is equal to 4 so we have that y1 is equal to 25 and we have that y2 is equal to 4 now we can solve for the corresponding values of x now if you recall from equation 3 we have seen that x is equal to 29 subtract y so we can solve for x1 which is equal to 29 minus y1 which is 25 and this means that x1 here is equal to 29 minus 25 which is 4 and we can solve for x2 which is 29 minus y2 which is 4 and this is equal to 29 minus 4 this is 25 so this means that x1 comma y1 this is equal to 4 comma 25 and we have that x2 comma y2 this is equal to 25 comma 4 so now these are the two set of solution that we have so let's verify these two set of solution here if they satisfy the equation as follows now let's verify that x1 y1 and x2 y2 satisfies the equation now if you check x1 y1 and x2 y2 there's some symmetry property from these two so if you recall we entered from equation one x plus y this is supposed to give us a value of 29 so if we substitute x and y here we have 4 plus 25 this should give us a value of 29 so 25 plus 4 this is 29 which is equal to 29 so the left add side is equal to the right add side now similarly to x2 y2 we have 25 x as 25 and y as 4 so we have 25 plus 4 this is supposed to give us a value of 29 so this is 29 is equal to 29. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this affirms that x1, y1 and x2, y2 satisfies the equation.
So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.